and bah, 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 look at this new backdrop from Felt Right. So thank you Felt Right for making my studio so glamorous. Ta-da! 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 She's super easy to work with and that's why she's back. Hi Rock! Hi you all! Oh, you look so good today. Bootleg Opinions. I know on Bootleg Opinions we always talk about the queen's looks but we never really talk about the smell. Which is why I want to share with you my favorite fragrance brand, Dozier. And I'll turn it a fair way to fragrances. What is that? They take luxurious and high-end fragrances and reproduce these famous brands that are $200 to $300 to just $29 to $59. I myself prefer something sweet and fruity, and sometimes a little bit earthy too. Which is why today I received the floral berries and aromatic pineapple. Tell me more! When you open the box, there's a card that tells you exactly what's in the bottle the ingredients, what it smells like, and the inspiration. Oh. For example, the aromatic pineapple is inspired by one of Yves Saint Laurent's fragrances. The bottles are so chic and minimalistic looking. Plus, it is travel size friendly, so you just drop it in your bag and go. You are, can you try that scent for me? Let's try the floor berry together. Whoa, it is fresh, very flowery, Smells like spring, which is coming up. Can you try that other scent for me too? Now, let's try the aromatic pineapple together. I love it. It is just like the original. Very glamorous. Fresh too. Luxurious. Totally recommend it. You know what? I'm gonna sign up right now. So what are you waiting for? Sasha your way to the link in the description and use my code to get the lovely discount that you deserve. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, but I can guarantee you that you won't be needing it because you'll love it as much as I do. We kind of matched together. We didn't even plan this. Family resemblance. Like full Oompa Loompa hair today. This is kind of giving me like a paintbrush, like upside down. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Or like um, those little fish that are like the tube fish in the sea that like filter feed with their little hair. I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> whenever I see queens with this kind of hair, you know that meme with that doll where she's like so like busted, her hair is like messy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, we're here to talk about all things Drag Race, because why? If you're not on Drag Race or All Stars, what are you doing? A review show. Anyway, category for this runway is Transformation, aka Makeover. Uh, what do you look for in this category? Well, we always talk about drag family resemblance, so I want to be able to see that these queens are from the same, at least, household. And by that I mean, like, does the narrative of their looks feel the same? Makeup look similar? And do they exude confident drag energy that matches? But I think that family resemblance can also be very open-ended. It can be mother and daughter. Be grandpa and grandson. Yeah, that works too. Or, <laughs> or like, I don't know, like nanny and I don't know, daughter too. That can work too. <laughs> nanny who's the real mother and the father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maury. <laughs> Did you enjoy this episode? Yeah, I enjoyed it. But when it got to the bottom two, it was a little bit questionable. If I was a producer of the show, which I always like, if I produced the show, it'd be so good. They should have put Q in the bottom with Safira because they have been clashing like this all season. Ooh. And then to see them lip sync against each other would have been great to see. But who do you think won the lip sync? Oh, I think Morphine won the lip sync, for sure. I think Morphine won the lip sync too. As much as I love Safira, mm -hmm. Morphine devoured that lip sync. But I can see why that they sent her home because- Track record. Just because of track record, Safira just had a stronger presence in the game. Going into the finale, Safira would devour Morphine, so I can see why. Yeah, I feel that too. And I think that going into the lip sync, most people predicted that Safira was gonna win that lip sync. I did not, I didn't think that. No. <laughs> okay, why? Well, because <laughs> I because uh, when I first saw Safira, cause seeing her perform live, she's like amazing. She knows her words, she gets everything right. I got to know Morphine during the season and she pulls it out every time. I love her humor. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm starting to be a Morphine stan, so. Me too. Morphine is someone that I really <laughs> like fell in love with throughout the season. Oh yeah. In the beginning of the season, I was like, girl, what are you giving us? Like, uh, makeup girl. Yeah, I thought it was like one of those influencers, you know, contestant and kind of give us beauty and mm -hmm. like, that's kind of it. She was not giving me drag until middle of the season. I think when the Bob the Pussycat haircut was like when it first changed. Oh yes, yes, with the stitches, the black outfit, the latex one, right? Yeah. That was the one that changed everything for me. 
And then each lip sync that I see her in, she really commits to it. So slay, slay, slay. Mm -hmm. This time around, they brought in dancers from Drag Race Live. What do you think about that? You know, I've said this before. If RuPaul owns something and she wants to plug it, it's her show. Okay? So if she wants to sell us tickets to Drag Race Live again, that's on her. And also, too, like, we're kind of running out of people to, like, do makeovers <laughs> for that are going to be different. I thought yeah. this year... Which they probably uh -huh. will never do, but I thought this year they were gonna get like local politicians, like queer politicians Why? to do. Why? Do because you think it's that? an election year. Because oh, it's an election okay. year. Okay. Okay. I don't think that the politicians would do it. I don't think they would do well either. Yes, Drag Race is moving us forward. It's progress, but like you want to probably separate yourself from drag queens. I don't know. Acting a fool. No, I feel that. Well, because like, what if you're the female gremlin makeover and you're running for office? Also, they're going to have those pictures out all the time. Yeah, George DeSantis. Yeah, or that. That's going to be on the internet forever. But I also want to point out that I enjoy that they had the dancers because everyone was already a performer. Yeah. So I really enjoyed them having, why did you hide yourself? Are you doing something? What? All I see is a horse. All you see is what? A horse. I think you turn off your camera. Oh, I'm sorry. So I enjoy them having the dancers. It is fun though, when they get seniors and then one of them's like, I almost, I, <laughs> I killed, killed Judy Garland. Killed Judy Garland. <laughs> like that's, that's what I want to see too. Did you see that tweet or that like forum where somebody caught the guy that said that was actually in the roast for season six? Yes, an audience and he member. was sleeping. Yes, yeah, somebody caught that. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, are they, like, paid actors or are they, like, really part of the market? Maybe they're just around. <laughs> After the dancers, I think there's other things that we can do to, like, get good makeovers. We could do, like, fast food workers, like, service industry people. Oh, serve! Yeah, yes, service industry! Service Come on, we're gonna serve you. You know what? I would love to see that because they do so much hard work and they're never really appreciated for their hard work. So this will be a fun makeover for them to give them just a little bit of joy, happiness, some glitter, you know, that they can be so slaying while serving us food, honey. I Drag Race, listen to that. us. This is the concept. Yeah, we're the producers. Oh, um, remember on Top Model when they were running out of ideas, they started doing categories like, let's have an all cast of models that are five foot or under. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> five foot five or under, do you remember? I forgot! They were running out of ideas. Then they started doing boy and girl and they started doing US and also the UK. I was like, girl. Well, anyways, moving right along, we first up have Morphine. And something about Morphine is she will never line those dresses. And we could have had more, maybe a boa, some fur, some stool, something more. Cover those arms. Not that there's anything wrong with their arms, it just feels very bare and empty. I don't mind the hair size on the makeover because you don't know what the makeover contestant is going to be. So that I forgive them. But yeah, line the dress and maybe extend the dress. That's what I have to say. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Lining the dress would make it completely different. They were saying that the shoulders are so big, you can either like cover it with something bigger or you can make the bottom bigger. So mm -hmm. maybe even the bottom of the dresses with boas would have been interesting. Either add a boa here or add a boa at the bottom. Yeah, and when they performed as a group, I know it's probably not judged, right? They really nailed it. And when the dress wasn't coming off, they kept going, which is something I love to see. And that's what a real drag show is. Oh, yeah. That's why these dancers get paid. Yeah, and that's why Alyssa Hunter got sent home. Because <laughs> she was a contestant. <laughs> Remember her gun stopped working? I forgot about that. And they were like, okay, that's an excuse to send her home. Don't use money guns on Drag Race ever. Don't do it. Yeah, because they don't want to see the queens have money except themselves, the producers. <laughs> Up next, we have Plain Jane and her sister, Lazy Susan. The name tickled RuPaul so, so much. Do you think it's funny? Okay, I'll say this. Lazy Susan. A lot of people in this generation might not know what that is. So mm -hmm. I think a Lazy Susan is something that RuPaul related to. So I think that's <laughs> why she find it funny. She was like, girl, I was there when they invented the Lazy Susan. Yeah, and Plain Jane is Plain Jane. And Lazy Susan is kind of basic too, because, you know, you don't want to do the extra work. So, I mean, it's a fun, campy name. The name kind of feels like the outfit to me, the outfit <laughs> and the concept. It feels like very basic. It is a little bit basic, but do you see resemblance? Not really. I only say that because for some reason, the makeup just doesn't translate to the other person for me. I just don't see it as much. And I feel like they put her wig in a weird place. Like, that can't just be me. It feels like it's in an odd place. Like, it's either too far back on her head or too far... No, it's too far back on her head, right? It's not my favorite. I'm not really fond of this look, mostly because it's just simple. 
It's like the cutouts that you used from one dress, you used for the other dress. Yeah. You know. The outfits are a little bit basic, but I do see resemblance in the hair, um, the makeup, and as well as the outfit. Though I would love for the black top that she has on to have some yellow in there because it just seems like the corset is there and then they add in the top last minute. So if she had some yellow in there, it would have seemed more connected. Oh. But it's fine for me. And I think that during the dance, the group dance, they nailed it too. Yeah, I guess too. They were saying that she embodied the attitude of like drag and she really did. She was serving hard and she's there like just mugging. Yeah. That was pussy. And the ponytail play too. That was awesome. Oh yeah. And speaking of Drag Race Live, honey, they need to put us on Drag Race Live. We'll set the stage on fire. Well, as soon as Plastique dies or something, then we can take the Asian number. <laughs> <laughs> she will never die, baby. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyways, moving right along. Next up, we have Nymphia and her sister. Do I see resemblance? Yes. But I would say that to make it more resemblance, because I know that the judges mentioned that they want to see a different color on her, I would probably have the sister maybe in yellow too, just because we know Nymphia for being yellow. Yeah. I definitely see that they're doing like the same silhouette with both with like monochromatic. Mm -hmm. Like that does make sense that they're like, two different people, but they look the same. Yeah. I see the family resemblance too. Like it would have been even better if the sister's hair was just as teased as Nymphia's. Yeah. That's my only critique though. I think that everything else is actually pretty good. Now performance, I'm surprised it wasn't like super, super jaw dropping because Nymphia is a good performer. This guy seems like a great dancer. Yeah. She managed to transform the only straight person in the room though into a gorgeous, gorgeous woman though. So I have to give her props for yeah. that. Yeah, the dancing wasn't too great. I couldn't even tell who was offbeat and who was on beat because <laughs> Nymphia's a great performer and the other one's a professional dancer. Maybe the, we trust the professional. Okay, so Nymphia was offbeat. <laughs> but hey, the group dance is not judged. Mm -hmm. All right, your turn, Q. Okay, hold on. What was that? Girl, someone speeding, but that was actual drag racing. Oh, did you hear? Oh, I saw that little clip from Scarlet Bobo. What? So, with Delta work. Now, let's talk about the fact that Canada's drag race is called Canada's Drag Race and not Drag Race Canada because there's oh a God. car racing show already called by that name. Is that why? That's what they say. Okay, because I've, like, I've talked about this with everybody. I'm like, why does Canada have to be so different? Drag Race Belgique, Drag Race Spain, Drag Race Canada's Drag Race. I'm right, like, entirely different. So that makes sense because on my season, there was this girl that every time she would see us, she'd be like, Ugh. like she would, would not look at us in the eyes. Like somebody who worked there? Yeah, someone who was Queen's Care. And we were like, what oh. is going on with this girl? And she'd be like, uh, you, you have to come this way with us. Turns out she thought the show was about cars. And we were like, what a fucking idiot. Yeah, and what now a dumb dumb. Makes, now that makes sense. <laughs> You'd be like, all right, we're going to work with cars and then full cross-dressers. All right. Our next set of sisters, mothers, family resemblance people is Q and her sister. I can't remember her name. Do you remember what her name was? I don't know, but I saw a tweet earlier tonight. <laughs> I'm on social media too much. Where they said Q had a missed opportunity where they could have named their team Q and A. That's what I'm thinking too. Why not Q and A? <laughs> she could have been A and then shown her or she could have been T, like cutie. Like they could have been together like cutie. Oh! Remember we did a whole reel with your name? Yes. I'm Sakura, block I'm Sakura, walk I'm Sakura. <laughs> Rock I'm Sakura, which is your favorite mineral? Sock I'm Sakura, which is your favorite color of socks to wear? <laughs> Mock I'm Sakura, which is your favorite comedy movie? Walk I'm Sakura, which is your favorite Asian dish? Lock I'm Sakura, what is the perfect password? Jock um Sakura, what is your favorite sport? Um Sakura, what is the perfect amount of inches? Mm. Or is that too private? No, 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 absolutely not. If you were to have a sister on there, what would your sister be? Roll um Sakura, because then it would be rock and roll. Oh, rock and roll. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, and then I would prepare like uh, rock and roll outfits a punk beforehand, look. yeah. Okay, I would name mine Mihua, because I'm Yuhua. Mihua? Mihua. <laughs> yeah, Mihua. <laughs> Yeah, you Juan Mihua. Anyway, go into this look. I'm sorry. That's so dumb. So they're in kind of like these avant-garde, drag mime, kind of like white Shido Nuri sort of faces. I see that Q is definitely bringing her brand in a sense that like she's different than other queens. Q yeah. looks amazing, but something needs to tie in with the sister up here. Maybe even like some of the red translated thicker on the neck, even like spikes or eyelashes or something. It just feels like 
something is lost in translation at the top area. So I do see resemblance in the hair and the style that is quirky. It's very monster. It's almost like very 2018 to 2019. Do you remember when almost every drag queen was like having these monster looks where they have the eyes, where they have the teeth, the tongue and stuff like that. So this is kind of giving me that. Yeah, you were saying after Miley Cyrus, totally, totally see that. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel like the main thing that's taking me out of it was I wish that her sister at least had an updo. Oh. If there's one thing that you can plan for, just assume that the person that you're gonna make over is built like a truck. <laughs> just like everything completely different from you. Cause you can always scale down, but you can't scale up if you don't have the material. Oh yeah, that's what I did. Even though I never got to experience the transformation challenge, I brought an outfit that fits me and mine was a lot bigger because I always feel like it's easier, just like you said, to take it in than be with an outfit that's too small. Yeah, also too, if you have extra fabric from what you cut off, you can make like a bracelet or you could make a, a, like a choker or something. Mm -hmm. If you don't sew for drag, which a lot of you watching don't, <laughs> buy your outfits big, like extra large, then you can bring them in and you can use it to make dramatic, more dramatic silhouettes. Yeah. So what do you think about them during the group dance? I don't think about them during the group dance. <laughs> I thought it was cute. It's okay. <laughs> Next up is Safira Cristal, an orange shabart. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say either. They're both in orange. Um, the hair, I feel like Safira's is a little bit more well done than the sister. It seems like the sister got the hair that she teased in the workroom and then Safira got that professionally made. <laughs> and the shoes, it doesn't correlate with the outfits on either one of them. The black doesn't match Safira. The silver doesn't match um, the transform person as well. It seems like Safira had the upper hand of the costume and the sister got the leftover. You know what I think? She should have switched her outfit with her sister. Yeah, because her sister has bigger proportions. So the runway started off with Safira coming out first and then bringing on the sister. So I was already disappointed in that the sister being presented, it's already in a lesser look than Safira, I would have probably switched and have the oh. sister wear Safira's outfit and Safira wear the sister's outfit and then have Safira come out in the simple outfit and then be like, no, 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 it's not about me. It's about my sister and have the sister walk down in that grander outfit. Yes. And give her the moment and be like, oh, that's my younger sister. It's not about me anymore. You know, it's about her. I think that yeah. that would have saved the runway with that story. But if Safira had cut off a little bit of the feathers, even like a small bit, and put it on her sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it would have added a little bit more. Just some feather maybe on the straps. Yeah. On the hair, something like that. Well, she could have done two birds with one stone. She could have cut it down here to make her look more fitted and sexy and brought that feather to her sister and match her a bit more. I do agree with the hair. It feels like the sister got the raw end of the deal with the hair. And you're right. I didn't even think about the shoes, but the shoes. <laughs> Our favorite look of this transformation is Nymphia Wind and her sister. It was the most put together and the most family resemblance out of all of them. I think that both of the outfits are stunning by themselves and it didn't need to stand with another person to make it look good. Yeah. Out of all the other performers, I definitely think that both of the outfits for this runway were strong. Definitely, definitely Nymphia wins. Woo, congratulations. And that's a wrap for this episode and we'll see you very soon. Bye Rock. Bye. Hey squirrel friends, when one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead, I support you.